Hi guys, it's Sarah from Losing It for Me 42 with my week 27 update. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on October 26, 2016. My high weight was 389 and that was in April of 2016. My surgery weight was 324. I came at you last week at 260 and this week I am 259 for a one pound loss for the week, which is a bloody miracle. <laughs> it's been a rough week. Um, so much, so much. Um, I've still been having a really bad pain in my back. I got a little better at the start of this week, Monday, because today's Wednesday. Um, I got a little better. I haven't been taking muscle relaxers since Monday, so that's good. I've been taking muscle relaxers pretty much every day for over a week, which is really bad for me. I don't usually take that much. Um, normally when my back gets bad, I'll have like a day or two of bad back. I had like a week or two of bad back, which was not fun. And what really, what really bothered me, I think was that it reminded me of pre-surgery. It reminded me of like that limited mobility, that my back hurt all the time, that I was afraid of pain, and that's kind of really where I started kicking my butt this week, was that I wasn't walking. I could walk. I could probably even go to the gym. My back is feeling better, but I wasn't doing it because I was afraid of pain. I was afraid of being in pain again, um, and so I was avoiding physical activity because I was afraid that it would cause pain. And I mean, that makes a lot of rational sense, except that'll keep me from doing everything, like everything. So I can't let my, I can't let my head go there. And I know a lot of it is that my back used to seize up. So like if I walked like a distance and then my back seized up, I couldn't get back to the car. I couldn't get anywhere. I like, I was completely fucked. And that made me very scared to go places and walk and do things because of that. Because I was afraid that I would be, I would have pain and not be able to, you know, get back to the car. And that happened multiple times and it was very embarrassing and it was very, like, scary for me. And so, yeah. Afraid of pain. My back doesn't seize anymore. I shouldn't be afraid as, as I am. I I can do things, I'm just not doing them because I have mental hang-ups. So I'm trying to kick my butt there. I've also been exceptionally exhausted. I don't know if it's uh, Shark Week, if it's Fibro, if it's Hangover from the Gabapentine, I don't know. I could sleep forever. Um, I don't, it takes me most of the day to feel woken up. That's terrible. Like, I have a double shot of coffee today because I am so freaking tired. Um, and I slept in because I once again didn't go to the gym and I have a late doctor's appointment. <sighs> uh, food wise, was terrible this week. I ate out a whole bunch. Um, I made pretty good choices in most of what I ate. I did eat a shit ton of it. Um, like I even had a binge moment on Monday. I couldn't tell you even pre-surgery when the last time I ever binge ate, but I have been ravenously hungry. I blame you uterus. <laughs> ravenously hungry like cannot feel full just and that was always always something for me when um as a PMS uh symptom was that I, I was an empty pit like I could not feel full um and I totally had that this week I was just like oh my god I'm so hungry I'm so hungry so I left work instead of going walking, I went to the convenience store. I bought everything in the store that was, you know, diet friendly. And 
and drove to the tra rail trail that I usually walk and sat there in my car and ate it all. Like, not all of it, but a lot of it. Um... And even while I was doing it, I was like, this is terrible. What are you doing? So, there was that. But, in general, food hasn't been great. I've been eating a ton. I did log everything in my fitness pal um, for the binge. As close as I could. And I got up to 1,400 calories that day. Which, I don't... I'm pretty sure I've been up there before, but usually there was wine involved. But the, the, it was, yeah. It was bad. I have been working out, and my calories have been at the 1100s to 1200s all this time. So I wasn't terribly far off from where I've been, which says I've been way too bad in general. Um, it's the one thing I don't like about calories at gym versus calories not at gym is I don't get I, I'm not good at pulling back I'm good at this is my usual calorie intake I'm not good at like and it was you know it was always a you know my issue with diets is that it's just this is my usually calorie intake so I keep my calories pretty much my gym calories but I haven't been going to the gym and it lasts like three weeks. So I've been doing okay, I guess, weight wise, but I just, I just don't like it for process for me, for where I need to be and all of that. Um, so that's really sucked. Uh, I have a pain doctor appointment today, which I'm leaving to go into and I should probably get going soon. But I'm hoping for good news. I'm hoping for another medication that isn't going to make me sleepy because for the love of God, I'm already too tired. Um, it's so funny. My boyfriend just started gabapentine um, for another reason and because it's one of those drugs that they give to for lots of things. And uh, he's, he's suffering from insomnia because of it and I want to like this makes you tired I was like yes I can't function one pill and I was laying on the couch on like almost unable to move I was just so like meh and he's like I'm gonna stay up and play video games I'm like fuck you I love you but I hate you um and it just shows how super sensitive I am to things that make me tired um so I'm hoping for better drugs. I'm hoping for anything. Because, I mean, at least Shark Week has started. So I will hopefully get some relief in a week. <laughs> I have whole another week of bad back pain at least to go through. But maybe in a week I'll feel better. But yeah, things have been interesting. I'm really, really stressed at work. And there's a lot going on at work, and sorry, the light changed really dramatically. Ah, there we go. Um, and that's just been, you know, lovely. But in general, I'm hanging on, hanging on. I'm exhausted today, guys. If you can't tell, I'm exhausted. But I'm gonna try to get better on my food. I'm not going to the gym this week. I don't think between Shark Week and my back. I'll probably walk, but I'm probably not going to go to the gym, which sucks. But, um, I think I'm going to try to pull my calories back. My biggest fear, and I've, I wonder if anyone else has this kind of thing, is I'm afraid to not pack enough food for, for me to go to work. Because I'm afraid that if I don't, I'll be tempted to eat you know, if I get hungry, I'll be tempted to eat bad stuff available. And I, this is a constant fear of mine. So, like, when I'm packing my meals, 
I tend to, I eat, I, I end up, no matter what I bring with me, I end up pretty much eating everything. Sometimes there's one or two things I don't eat, but for the most part, I eat it all. So if I pack extra food because I think I'm going to be, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I'm going to be hungry or I'm afraid that I'm going to be hungry, I end up eating it. Um, and if I don't bring it, I'm afraid that I'm going to get chips out of the snack machine or something because I don't do well when I feel really hungry. Like, it's weird. It's like some demon beast takes over my body and it's just like, Rawr, I need to eat. And, you know, it's not, in those cases, it's not, ten, it's not usually binge eating or anything like that. It's just, I feel I need to eat. And I think it's partly because I'm very good at mindful eating. And so I'm like, well, my body is hungry and it wants stuff. But sometimes I have to tell my body to go to hell because it's had enough. <laughs> but, you know, this all, the extra eating this week has all been, you know, hormonal up to shark week. But, <sighs> damn it, being a woman. It sucks, guys. It sucks. <laughs> but, other than that, I'm hoping that somewhere, somehow, some things settle down because there's a lot of, there's a lot in the tilt world right now and I'm just like, I just want things to be on the ground and solid and everything's up in the air and there's no solidity and I've lost my gym. I've lost my gym. I'll get it back, guys. I'll get it back. It's going to take a lot. I, it, it's so funny is everyone always comments and they're like, you know, it's so impressive you go to the gym. I'm like, I go every day because if I don't, I won't. And it's going to be very hard getting back into it, getting up early and going to the gym. It's going to take, it's going to take, I, I know it's, 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 it's going to be hard for me to do, to get back into that habit. But I better go in. Love you guys. I will try to post again. Sorry, I've been posting so much, but there's so much. These tags have been wonderful. But I will try to post again if I get some good news from 